Hello and welcome to Let's Play Ratchet and Clank with me, Mr. Muck Clackable. In the last episode, we started our adventure. We met Ratchet, we met Clank, we learned of evil Chairman Drek, and now we've got to stop him. And also, we've got some more things to do, like get a new ship. If we have a look, wrong one. Um, we crashed our ship. Thanks to your stellar piloting, we're stranded. And we've also got to explore the waterworks, although I'm not sure what we're going to do first. I think we'll go do the main mission, yes. So, find a new ship. I don't know how we're just going to... What, we're just going to stumble across a new ship? That would be quite good, but um, somehow I don't think that will be the case. I... Oh, I'm f oh, see, I shouldn't have bought that ammo, because... Hmm. And uh, speaking of ammo... I'm very glad that people liked the first episode, even though it was a pain in the backside to make because of stupid audio problems, but um, also got some nice tips straight off the bat from people, which is good, such as not buying too much ammo because you can just do this with most enemies, which is a very good point. Although I'd still like to... oh, you little, you little bitey thing. Uh, I'd still like to buy some ammo and weapons just to kind of showcase all the guns because they are very fun. Uh, some of them. Some of them are just weird. Oh my goodness me. But some of them can be good. Let's start now, shall we? Um, you blow up. You blow up. And you blow up. Nice auto aim there. Thank you, game. So yeah. Ammo. Ammo is going to be a problem. Especially. But what's going to be even more of a problem is gold bolts. That's quite a big thing now. Um... Some people have said about getting gold bolts, and last episode I said I wasn't sure what I'm going to do. My original plan was just to ignore the gold gold bolts, and let's say bold golds. <laughs> and, um... Because the idea I had was, if I just played through the story first, and completely ignore them, then they'd all still be there to get, and I wouldn't have to keep thinking, did I get this one before, or should I skip this one because I already got it? And it would be easier to do it at the end, in one clean sweep, if you get what I mean. Or should I just get them as I go, because then people can help me with getting them and, like, say if I'm around a certain area in the next episode, you can say, well, go back there, there's one there. So I'm not sure. I think, I, I'm definitely sure that there are, oh, wrong button, keep getting used to that. There is one in the waterworks around here. I think I remember where that one was, because in my pre-playthrough, I didn't really bother. I just, if I happen to come across one, I came across one. Oh, that'd be a nice secret down there, but no. So, yeah, we we'll start by getting the the gold bolts, but uh, that may change as the game progresses. But with your help, we can do anything. Maybe not. Anything. So we're currently. What are these? There's lots of robots. And is that more on there? Ooh. Oh. Oh. It's very clean destruction there. Oh, I'm obsessed with getting bolts, I can't help it. I can't help it, but I should. I should stop really. Otherwise we won't get anything done in this let's play and it'll just be me collecting bolts, which is not very exciting to see, I know. You die. I like the little jetpacks, that's pretty cool. So, one thing I do like about this game, I always moan about the uh, how nice games look, especially that Bond game I'm playing, 007 Bloodstone, but this does, I mean it looked good even on the PS2 and that's saying something, especially with the panoramic scenery around the edges, they did a really really good job about getting in detail and um, actually there is a, weren't they like the first game to to use a certain engine that, that could actually do these these kind of vistas. Oh my goodness me, what is what is that PS3 doing? It's humming quite loudly, but thanks to Audacity, that can be easily edited out. Wait, have I got full health? Yeah. These things though. Little B Nope, nope. I've still got me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will get better at this game, believe me. Oh, I will. Hopefully, it just my pre-playthrough was quite a while ago now because I was waiting for the game to come out, and um, then we had 
Indiana Jones, which took longer than expected, so I'm, go I'm still going to be a bit rusty, but we're getting to it. We're getting to the hang of things. Okay, large open space. What is going to be in here? <gasps> Evil things. Do you know what? You die. You die. Good day to you, sir. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Oh, what are you? Mercenaries? Torturers? Assassins? I I'll tell you anything. Here, take my infobot. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not assassins. Hold on. Let's see what he's got. Has this ever happened to you? Hi, I'm Captain Quark, and believe me, there's nothing worse than staring down a Blargian Snaggle Beast from the inside and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee-high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? You said it, pal. So if you're fighting crime, or just fighting grime, <laughs> come to Al's RoboShack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Al's RoboShack, it's quarktastic. Do you know what this means? Yeah, Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. Uh, what? Uh, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Well, this planetary chairman and I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Cool. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. Gadgetron infobots give you coordinates for new planets. You should press the select button to bring up the map and go to your ship. It's marked with a star. Yeah, 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 whatever. Okay, we've already done that. Press select. There is our brand new ship. Over there. Why couldn't they have parked it? Oh, oh, oh they gave us a nice bridge. That's nice. Um, so there we go. That pretty nice, although terrified old man just gave us a ship. Planetary chairman bloke. Um, and we kind of learned a bit about um, the upgrades you can get there at Big Al's Robo Shack. That's where we can get upgrades for Clank. But you do get quite a lot of wings and jumping and gliding and all that good stuff. And we also met, um, we didn't meet him, but we saw him, Captain Quark, who. Um, actually proves to be quite a big character in this game. You know, we saw him in that commercial there, very nice commercial, with some nice uh, cliches in it. But, um, yeah, he is quite a big character, and he's such a good one as well. Who is... This game does have really good characters, because he's like some sell-out celebrity... Oh, he's great, and um, he reminds me of um, Captain Brannigan quite a bit from Futurama, which I think is a pretty good thing to uh, be reminded of because that's a great character as well. So back up here we go, there's our new ship. We could go to the next planet, planet Kerwan, which is uh, where Metropolis is. Where... Oh, we're going to go to Big Al's RoboShack. Uh, has starred in the commercial, maybe Al knows where he is. Yeah, we're trying to find Quark because uh, he might know how to stop uh, Chairman Drek. But before we do that, Let's have a go at doing the side mission thing, which is uh, waterworks. Yeah, look, we did it. Tick. Waterworks are one of the things Drek plans to steal from this planet. You should search them thoroughly before they're ripped from the planet. Mhm. Mm okay. There's two ways to go, actually. There's this way, and then there's that way. If we have a look at the map again, God, you... Hmm. That one kind of goes there. And that one goes there. Let's see if we can do them both quite quickly. Let's go to this one first. Um, so the, the little what I do know about this game is... Um, so it's made by Insomniac, Insomniac around... Well, it was released in 2002, wasn't it? Because this is the 10-year anniversary. Oh, we're diving. Okay. What is that? Oh, that's a flower. And so I did a little bit of like the history of the game. Turns out, um, Insomniac actually got some help from Naughty Dog. 
Oh, okay, these are kind of these are just weird screw door bolt things on like that. Yeah, they got some help from from Naughty Dog who makes Jack and Daxter, which is why I always got a bit confused between these two series. Like you know, Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Daxter, they're very similar. Um, so they didn't, they didn't use their engine, but they did use some kind of uh, technology. They shared them, and they kind of like they said, "You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours," and it worked out, didn't it? Because both very good games. I did play Jack and Daxter actually. That's one of the games I did play, but I didn't want to LP that because um, I don't know. This game does seem a bit more fun, especially. Isn't it true that the later Jacks they got a bit darker? Uh, whilst these games they're nice and they're just jolly and happy and everything like that. So I like these. I have a feeling you can break these mushrooms. Please say you can. Yes. Take that, fungi. And you. What do they actually give any? Yeah, they give some bolts. Oh, we can go buy the um, pyrositor as well. That was another tip. Buy the flamethrower because we're going to use it soon. Um, I do know what part um, was mentioned about the the little shark things, but you know that it, it will prove useful anyway, just throughout the game. Oh dear. So I think we might get that just as our first weapon to get in the game. I was actually quite uh, skimpish with the ooh, buying weapons in my first playthrough because I thought save the money in case there's upgrades for you know jumping or whatever and there was in the end but I think I still missed out on some of them which is a shame because it's good to see the variety of weapons you can get now hang on there okay take that oh what a nice little drop kill isn't there a robot down here no oh okay well here is, I'm pretty sure, a gold bolt. Let's have a look, shall we? Uh, there we go. Uh, our first gold bolt. Let's go. Gold bolt acquired. Are you going to give any information about gold bolts, woman? Nope. Oh, that's something I needed to do as well. Damn it. I should have done that first. The sound, it was quite... Hmm. The woman didn't seem very loud compared to the background noise, but then... If that's what it was like before, then she should have, because that would have been a sound effect, and... Let's just turn it down a little bit more. Okay. There we go. So yeah, gold bolts. I, I, that's probably one of the few that I do know. So... Please help me. Please. i die. Uh, that'd be nice. So I think that was about it for this place. Um, yeah, it's got a bit more swimming to do. But, um... Yeah, it's games like these that I think make really good LPs, because... I said before that I think Destroy All Humans 2 was probably one of the best games to LP ever. It's just the way it was made with um, bonus missions and side missions and collectibles. It had just the perfect amount of everything. And I think this game is also quite similar in terms of main missions, side missions, collectibles, aha! There we go. And all that kind of stuff. So I'd like to think this will go just as nicely as Destroy Humans 2 did. Oh dear. That's useful. Thank you Stalag... Mites? <laughs> I don't know. Ooh. What are these things? I'm sure all these kind of robots and all these creatures have uh, names on the Ratchet and Clank wiki, but um, I haven't been that thorough to look them up. Because there's just so many. There's so many different things you can do. Wait a minute, I'm sure there's a, a gold bolt up here. <laughs> oh yeah, two for two, baby. Two, four, two. Go bolt. And they save after every one. That's good. Right. Yeah, the, the thing with um, this game is it's so harsh with checkpoints. That's what I found. Especially on the PS2. They might have fixed that for this one. But 
yeah, checkpoints, they were so unforgiving sometimes. And the thing is, once you lose your ammo, that's it. It's gone. You have to you have to pay for new ammo, so oh, some parts I did get very annoyed. Did you get hurt by that? Mm, no. So yeah. But it's kinda good. Games can be too easy now, I think. Probably. Um and it kind of almost harks back to the the days of yonder <laughs> where um like I mean I never used to play NES games, I was too young, but they, some of those could be insanely difficult. I mean Mario games are difficult, really. Sonic games, uh anything and everything was was definitely trickier back then. Oh, can you smash these? Did I just break that? I think I did. Are these just here just for the sake of it? I think they are, because, yeah. I always have a fear that we're going to die in water, but we can swim. I've got the GTA fear. Up we go. No? Just all these valves and stuff. I believe at the end of this, um, we're going to meet someone. And if I'm right, I was very surprised by this. I looked up uh, just someone, an actor I liked. Uh, you probably already know him, um, many people. He was the person who played the janitor on Scrubs, and he's in the new... He's in the middle, which is basically a different version of Malcolm in the middle, but he plays the dad. Uh, Neil Flynn. And I was looking up him for some random reason on Wikipedia, and I saw that he had a, a credit for Ratchet and & Clank, and I was thinking, what the hell? Ratchet & Clank? What the hell did he do in Ratchet & Clank? But apparently, he voiced that guy right there. Um, let's see, I mean, I can't hear him, but let's see if he does. Dad, blast it! <laughs> look, plumber's crack. What did you just say? I said, look, the plumber's back. All right, wise guy. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash, giant robots attacking! The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this goddarn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough bolts. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An infobot. Ratchet, we could use that. Oh. Um. Hmm. Well... Oh, it's only 500. I thought it said 5,000 for a second there. That'd have been a rip-off. And yes, that is Neil Flynn. He's, he's putting on some kind of old manny voice. Look around my road. Hold. Press and hold L1. Mm-hmm. You can also use your weapons and your range. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Okay. So, um Yeah, that is Neil Flynn. Nice. So what we're gonna buy this. We got loads of we got loads of bolts. Did he just slide down a sewer pipe? Mayday, Mayday! This is the solar ship Radical. We seem to be under attack from the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close! Ah! Pipe down, I can't concentrate. Oh, we've been hit! Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long, kid. Let's M scream! Eject! Eject! Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Does he know Captain Quark? I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder, always going off about how cool he is. Looks like he's in trouble. I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out. Well, there we go. Infobot for Planet Aridia acquired. That is going to be another kind of side mission to do where we're going to get ourselves a nice hoverboard. Uh, hopefully, if I'm good enough. So I think we're going to end the episode around here. Let's just take a nice little trip down the sewer. Because it's something we love to do in our spare time. Woohoo! Pick up some bolts along the way. And it should drop us off quite neatly at the beginning. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. Couldn't have worked out better if we tried. So I think next episode we'll buy the um, Pyrocitor. And uh, get on with... Well, we have a choice now. We have two places to go to. So, who knows what we do. We could go to Metropolis to meet uh, Captain Quark. Or we could go to Iridia to meet Skidmux Marks. So, who knows what we'll do. Uh, we'll find out next time. So, until then, thank you for watching. And goodbye. <laughs>